Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Stardust channel, where we explore hidden gems. Today, we're taking you to the Latin American country of Brazil, a rich place in culture, history, and natural beauty. Brazil has something for everyone, from pristine beaches to incredible sights and activities. Let's dive into all the things that make Brazil a must-visit destination. Experience the world right here on the Stardust channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Stardust channel. Hope you have watched part 1 of Brazil Uncovered, the best places to explore and activities to experience. Today we are bringing you to the part 2 of 3 part series. Brazil Uncovered, the best places to explore and activities to experience of the most beautiful and vibrant Latin American countries in the world. Brazil is famous for its stunning beaches, iconic landmarks, and vibrant nightlife. Whether you're looking for a relaxing beach holiday or an action-packed adventure, Brazil has something for everyone. So sit back, relax, and let us take you on a virtual tour of this amazing Latin American country in this three-part series. Brazil Uncovered, the best places to explore and activities to experience part 2. One of the world's most fascinating countries, there are so many things to do in Brazil that adventure-hungry travelers are spoiled for choice. Whether you want to hike in the jungles, lie on the beach or dance in the streets, you can do that here. From tranquil beaches to vibrant cities to lush rainforests, the country spans a huge variety of landscapes, and as a result, there are so many places to visit in Brazil. If you're not already captivated by its scenery and biodiversity, you'll be hooked by the culture. So, what are some of the best things to do in Brazil? With so much on offer, how can you narrow it down? We've got some suggestions. Florianópolis the capital of southern Brazil's Santa Catarina state, Florianópolis, is the place to go for beach resorts, surfing, boating, and a heavy German influence. Most of the city lies on the spectacular 54-kilometer-long Santa Catarina Island and connected to a mainland commercial area via the famous Pedro Ivo Campos Bridge. The frontier between Portuguese and Spanish empires, the region was filled with German-speaking immigrants in the 1820s to act as a buffer, and has had a lasting legacy. These immigrants kept their small family-owned farming practices, similar to North America at the time, yet vastly different from the mega-plantation culture of most of Brazil. This resulted in Florianópolis having a healthier legacy of equality and egalitarian policies than the rest of the country, a trend that continues today. Not to mention a wild Oktoberfest festival, fascinating history, and a flourishing cultural scene. For tourists, there is sun, sand, and surf aplenty, with beach hopping being the most popular attraction. The seafood and beer are both expectedly standout, as is the sophisticated city vibes. With over a hundred beaches, all encircled by picturesque hills covered with lush Atlantic forest vegetation, it is impossible not to love this unique place in Brazil. Sao Paulo What Sao Paulo lacks in Rio-style beauty and landscape, it more than makes up for in energy and pride. Ask any resident and they'll tell you at length how they'll never live anywhere else, so it's definitely somewhere the travelers should check out. Traffic galore there may be but there's plenty to experience in this bustling cosmopolitan city. It's the art center of Brazil so, as might be expected, there are a wealth of museums, galleries and cultural centers. Not to mention all the street art. Head downtown for the historic area and many of the main attractions, head to the other areas for more of an insight into the daily life of the Paulistanos. In the evenings, aside from a great nightlife, there is always something happening, whether it's theater, musical performance and international events. We love heading to Avenida Paulista on a Sunday to join in the masses of people walking, cycling and rollerblading along the temporarily pedestrianized street. The city is also home to a wide range of culinary delights and it's definitely one of the top places to go in Brazil for foodies. Chiridentes Another contender for the most beautiful town in Brazil, Chiridentes in the Brazilian state of Minas Gerais, is an unspoiled case of Portuguese colonial architecture. It is so well preserved and so appealing, you would at times think you have mistakenly wandered into a movie set, and will catch yourself thinking, how can a place be so perfect? Gorgeous homes set along cobblestone roads enveloped by green mountains and a truly majestic church, Chiridentes is the kind of place dreams are made of. Except it is real. When gold became scarce, this historic mining town was largely forgotten and fell into decay. Crucially, this meant it wasn't modified or ravaged by growth and modernity. When tourism began to trickle back here in the late 1970s, intrepid guests were rewarded with exceptionally preserved Baroque structures thanks to the years of isolation. Beyond the obvious visual appeal, there is a booming restaurant scene, lush forest hikes, and some wonderfully insightful museums. 
The charming São José fountain should not be missed, along with the vintage steam train that runs between Chiradentes and the magnificent Serra São José grouping of quartzite blocks. Brasilia. If you're looking for things to do in Brazil that give you more of a perspective on the country, then Brasilia is one of those. Established as the capital city in 1960, it was a utopian vision of organized urban design in response to the perceived chaos of Rio and Sao Paulo. It was designed in the shape of a crucifix but is also often compared to an airplane, with Exo Monumental forming the central body with the star attractions laid out along it and two wings making up the residential and commercial sectors. It's a spread out city with lots of spaghetti junctions so you can't walk around it the same way you would other cities, but there's still plenty to discover. Head up to the viewing platform of the television tower to appreciate the city plan or stroll past the government buildings on the esplanade of the ministries. Paratai. A small town popular with backpackers, Paratai is flanked by the jaw-dropping mountains on Brazil's Costa Verde and supremely positioned between Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. The perfect place to break up a trip, Paratai has a lot going for it with a rich Portuguese colonial center including cobbled streets and many excellent 17th and 18th century buildings due to its history as an important port during the Brazilian gold rush. Today more of a popular artist refuge and tourist hotspot than an export hub, Paratai was recently recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site along with the nearby island of Ilha Grande. Paratai is a welcome escape from the city madness, with tropical hiking, horseback riding, boat cruising, and snorkeling. Or you can just spend hours exploring the colonial era streets, darting into small cafes, whitewashed churches, and modern galleries. Paratai has long been a beloved getaway for residents of Rio, but now the cosmopolitan vibes have been taken a step further with the influx of international vacationers. In August, Paratai hosts the annual Festival of Cachaça, and in May, there is the Paratai Bourbon Jazz Festival, which includes many of the world's top artists. Add to this the 65 islands and 300 beaches nearby, a fun cook school, a slew of bars and luxe lodgings, and it is safe to say Paratai will firmly keep its status as one of the best places to visit in Brazil for the foreseeable future. Amazon from Manaus The Amazon has captured the imagination of hundreds of thousands of people throughout the ages and for good reason. Its incomparable ecosystem and diverse flora and fauna are fascinating not just to biologists, but to travelers, which is why going on an Amazon Rainforest River tour on the Rio Negro is so popular. Cruising down the Amazon River taking in the quiet majesty of the area is one of the things to do in Brazil that just can't be missed. Manaus is the largest city nearby and definitely the most convenient location you can explore from. You can go on organized hikes into the jungle, canoe trips or even go fishing. All of these are unforgettable experiences to help you appreciate the power of the river and the life it generates around it. São Miguel dos Missos São Miguel dos Missos in Rio Grande do Sul State is a monumental Spanish Jesuit mission ruins from the 17th century. It was built because the Jesuits at the time of colonization were on a mission of evangelizing the indigenous people of Bacia do Rio Prada, a territory that today is spread across Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil, to preserve their culture and language and protect them from Portuguese slave traders. Eighteen such villages were built as places where converted indigenous people lived, to adapt their lifestyle to Christianity. The Jesuits were eventually expelled under the Treaty of Madrid when the area was transferred from Spain to Portugal. The Guarani tribes who lived here refused to comply with the order to relocate from their homelands, and thus a joint Portuguese-Spanish army attacked and defeated the Guarani. The São Miguel dos Missos was left in ruins, the Guarani were killed and enslaved, and this great social experiment ended. The ruins today have a paradise lost feel to them, with an incredible museum and many gorgeous viewpoints to appreciate the scale of the undertaking. In 1984 the mission was listed as World Heritage under the Jesuit missions of the Guaranese listing, along with three others in Argentina including the equally impressive San Ignacio Mini. Alter do Jao Hidden in the murky depths of the famous Amazon jungle, Alter do Jao is a quirky and offbeat beach destination that boasts astonishing white sandy stretches that will convince you you've somehow traveled to Brazil's famous north coast. Located around 33 kilometers west of the already isolated Sonoran, Alter do Jao is most well known for its Ilha do Amor, Island of Love, an arresting island ringed by a white sand beach. But there is much more to this place than just beaches, there is a three-fingered lagoon to investigate, either by canoe or stand-up paddleboard, and boat tours into the surrounding Amazon. You should not miss a trip to Pona do Kururu at sunset where large numbers of pink and grey dolphins gather for an evening meal. An ethereal experience, to say the least. Positioned on a major tributary of the Amazon River between Belém and Manaus, the isolation of Alter do Jaos and retreat from the modern world is the appeal here, and the main reason why there are so few visitors. 
Belo Horizonte. While not on most tourist itinerary for Brazil, landlocked Belo Horizonte is the capital city of Brazil's Minas Gerais and the country's sixth largest city. A lively, industrial and gritty city, architectural lovers should not miss this city and the Pampula Lake Architectural Complex, home to an assortment of incredible designs by Brazil's modernist architect Oscar Niemeyer. There is the wavy top church of St. Francis of Assisi, a casino, a ballroom, the golf yacht club, and various other edifices all in collaboration with famed landscape architect Roberto Borla Marx and give a hint to what he would later build in Brasilia. The artificial lake itself is also stunning and is capybara living around its edge. Back in the concrete jungle, Belo Horizonte is a sprawling mess, but has plenty of charm if you are willing to seek it out. The Instituto de Arte Contemporánea in Hatem is the world's largest open-air contemporary art museum with 87 acres of beautiful gardens, then there is a vibrant central market and a revitalizing museum scene. Oru Predu is also a short distance away, making Belo Horizonte a convenient stopover point. So we hope you enjoy this video, and experience the magic of this vibrant country. For yourself, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave comments for more amazing video content, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to watch part 3 Brazil Uncovered, the best places to explore and activities to experience. We greatly appreciate each one of you, and thank you for watching.